When it comes to fitness, there is no one size fits all, but there is this one rule that I follow that has really helped me immensely. I will share that with you in just a bit. Welcome to this session of Fit Formula. My name is Suvini and this is season two. Remember, I have something fun at the end of this session, so stick around and let's have a really strong workout together. We're going to start with that warm up. Before that, make sure you have your water bottle, your workout space is clean and neat, and you are ready. Yeah? So, warm up, four movements, 60 seconds of work, and we're going to get that really good mobility plus a little bit of a cardio movement to help bring that heart rate up. We're starting off with the dynamic chest stretch. Let me just show it to you. You're going to go diagonal, diagonal and then lateral in line with your shoulders, okay? Try not to extend back too much. Stop where you're comfortable, but just gotta keep moving for 60 seconds. Ready? You can even come up on your toes if you feel like. Three, two, and one, come on. Extend out nicely. Keep going. Take it nice and easy. Feel that work on your chest, on your shoulders. Make sure you've switched on your devices right here. Yeah. Nice and easy. For the last 15 seconds now, just rotate forward, four, five, six, and back, four, five, six, and a couple of more reps of the dynamic chest, stretch, and we're done. Okay, next up, we've got some scapular push-ups to really help you activate your deltoids, your core, and of course, your scapula. So what you're gonna do is set, uh, setting it up for you, palms under your shoulders, step out onto your toes, Elbows remain straight throughout the movement. So what you're going to do is dip down, push your shoulders towards the ceiling without bending your elbows, and then push away, breathe out. Yeah? Ready? So you, your shoulders go towards the ceiling, and then your back towards the ceiling when you're pushing up. Oh yeah? Three, two, and one. Come on. If you're scaling it down, you can just drop your knees down from that position. Give it your scapula a squeeze and push away. Keep your core tight. Breathe out on top. Yeah. Doing a couple of reps with the knees down. Try and increase that range of motion. Elbows remain straight. Keep going, come on. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Shake it out. We're going to go in for the bent over Y raises next. Again, working on your upper back, your core, and your deltoids. So what you're going to do, I'm going to show you from the side. You're going to keep your feet about hip width apart. Knees are soft. From here, push your hips back. Back straight, chest up, hands down. From here, thumbs up. Y raise, and down. Y raise, and down. Yeah, you're not going up straight, slightly angled. Make a Y. Ready? 60 seconds in three, two, and one. Come on. Breathe out and slowly lower down at the top position. Thumbs towards the ceiling. Give yourselves a thumbs up. You're gonna get in a good workout today. Squeeze the upper back and the deltoids on top and lower down. Keep that core engaged. Nice work, back flat, keep 
keep pushing. 20 seconds left. Take it nice and easy. Almost there. Three, two, one, and done. All right. And coming to that last movement, that bit of cardio that's really going to set us up for that main workout as well. We're going to be doing half burpees. I'm going to show you from the side. So how it differs from a full burpee, half burpee, you're going to stay in that plank and then come up. Chest and thighs do not touch the floor. So here we go. Down, shoot back into plank, up and end it with a clap. If you're scaling down, step back, step forward, stand up or end with a hop. Ready? I'm going to face you for this because the mat moves. So let's get started in three, two and one. Come on. I want you to take it slow. There's no hurry here, especially because we're just trying to warm up. It's a great way to improve your conditioning and your strength here. You're going to feel that work on your core, your shoulders, your legs. Nice work. Come on, keep going. Halfway there. Celebrate each rep with a clap. Nice one. Keep pushing, 20 seconds to go. Remember, you can scale down whenever you feel you're, you're feeling a little fatigued and it's completely okay as long as you keep moving. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Sip some water, catch your breath, and get ready. Upper body work today. So you know what that means. We're going to be doing a circuit right after a sip of water. All right. Circuit day. That means 40 seconds of hard work. 20 seconds of rest, three rounds. Yeah, five movements for you. We're gonna take it easy the first round in the sense that make sure you're moving along with me when I'm demonstrating. And then the next two rounds, we're gonna go back to back. Okay? The first movement that we have, tempo push-ups. So tempo, meaning you're gonna slow down your rep. Yeah, we're gonna go three, two, one and up, okay? That's how we're doing it. And why it's so effective is especially with muscle building is because you're keeping your muscles under tension for longer. Yeah, you're moving slower. So it's really gonna make you feel that burn. So how that goes is, palms are slightly wider than your chest, up into your push-up position from here, elbows angle towards your rib cage when you lower down. So you're going one, two, three, and push up, yeah? If you're scaling down from here, just drop your knees down. Nothing else moves. Make sure your hip and your head are in the same line from here. One, two, three, push up. Okay, 40 seconds of work. Ready? Let's get started. Tempo push-ups in three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, three, push up. One, two, three, Push up. Let's keep pushing. Breathe out on top. You know the count. Try and slow it down. Follow the tempo. And let's go. Excellent work. Ten more seconds. Come on. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, and done. Nice work. 20 seconds to recover. From here, we're going into reverse crunch to leg extension. So, I'm gonna lie down, press the lower back into the floor, knees above your hips. From here, bring your knees to your chest, reverse crunch, breathe out, extend your legs, point your toes completely. Reverse crunch, 
to leg extension. Remember, if you really want to challenge, make sure your leg extensions are closer to the floor without touching. That way you're really engaging your core muscles. But again, lower back never leaves the ground. Okay, ready? Let's get started. Three, two, and one. Come on. Reverse crunch to leg extension. Also, if you're feeling a little fatigued, you can do what I'm doing. Place your palms under your lower back for additional support. Feel that core burn. Breathe out. Slow and controlled. Make sure you're completely extending your legs. If you want to scale it down further, reverse crunch, touch down. Okay, almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Excellent work. Coming up next, that element of cardio, that element of conditioning, we are going to be doing skier jumps. So again, give me a thumbs up because we're doing a great job so far. From here, you start with your hands overhead, feet are hip width. What you're going to do, jump up, swing down. And when you swing down, again, it's like that bent over position. You're going to keep a slight hinge at the hips. Knees are soft, but back is straight and chest is up. Ready? If you're scaling this down on your toes and swing down powerful. Three, two, one, and go. Come on. If you want to challenge yourselves, there are always ways to scale up further. You can jump higher. You can move quicker. And of course, increase that power on the swing down. Nice work. Slight hinge at the hip. So it's actually working your entire body. Feeling it on your arms, your legs because of that hinge. Your core remains tight throughout as always. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Three movements down, two more to go. The next one that we have, crab toe touches. Let me set this up for you. So you're going to sit down, extend your uh, feet out, knees pointing towards the ceiling, palms facing your body, your fingertips towards your body, and your palms are under your shoulders. From here, you're going to lift yourself up, chest up, back straight, core tight. From there, Toe touch, toe touch, yeah? Try and maintain that balance. If you're finding the toe touch and the balance a little hard, just the crab hold. So just hold it here, yeah? Ready? In three, two, and one, come on. Try not to swing around too much when you're doing this movement. Slow and controlled. Breathe out. Nice work. Keep pushing halfway there. You can feel that again on your shoulders, your core. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, and that brings us to the last movement. We did the bent over Y raises in the warm up. We're going to add two more letters to that. So we're doing Y, T, W. Okay, let's see how that works. Same position, feet, shoulder, uh, feet hip width, knees soft, push back into the hinge, core tight, chest up, back straight. From here, Y, down, T, down, W, down. Okay, ready? If you want to scale this down, you can uh, decrease the range of motion. Instead of bending forward this much, you can maybe come up a little bit higher and that'll make it a little easier for you. Okay, let's go in three, two, and one. Come on. Y, T, and W. Give it a good squeeze. Come on. Thumbs up throughout. Great work. Y, T, and W. Give 
your upper back a good squeeze with each letter that you're hitting. Yeah? T and W. Keep going. Core engaged. Almost there. Three, two, and one. And there you have it. One round down, two more to go. Sip some water and let's get ready. Got about five seconds. Tempo push ups coming up. Ready? 40 seconds of hard work. Three, two, and one. Come on. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. One, two, three. Even if you go till here and come up, I'm happy. Okay? Remember, just stick with what you are really comfortable with and just try and keep improving on that. Two, three. Breathe out, come up. Ready? Keep pushing. Almost there. One, two, three, and up. Nice work. 20 seconds to recover. Reverse crunch and leg extension. Get into position, get ready. Whew, feeling amazing. Already working up a sweat. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Make sure you're breathing well. Make sure you're also hydrating as much as possible. Just a couple of sips here and there. Body needs that oxygen to really keep moving and move well. Nice one. Wow. Definitely feeling that core burn. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest up. Scare jumps coming up. Whew. Shake it out and get ready. Ten more seconds. Catch your breath. Walk around. Make sure it's active rest, yeah? Three, two, one, and go. Come on. Make it strong. Keep your muscles tightened in the arms, in the core. Come on. Keep going. Halfway there. I'm going to try and move a little faster here. Nice work. Ten more seconds. Lots of thumbs up in today's workouts. Three, two, one, and done. Twenty seconds. Crab toe touches. Walk around. Catch your breath. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and controlled movement. Keep breathing in, breathing out. Focus on touching opposite hand and foot. The other hand always comes under your shoulder, okay? Fingers are pa uh, facing towards your body. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Well done. Bent over YTW, last movement, and we're done with round two. Whew. Really simple movements, but so effective. Really going to help with the strengthening and, of course, burn those calories. Ready? 
three, two, one, and go. Y, T, W. Come on, take it nice and easy. Squeeze on top. Make sure your chest is lifted and your back is straight. Keep your neck neutral. Almost there. Three, two, one, and done. All right, last round. Sip some water, get ready. Tempo push-ups, five seconds, three, two, and one, come on, one, two, three, push-up, one, two, three, and up, one, two, three, push, one, two, three, and up, come on, let's go, one, two, three, breathe out. Elbows towards your rib cage. Feel that work on your chest, your triceps, your core, your shoulders. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Wow. Feeling a whole lot stronger. Definitely try and you know maintain variations in your workout. Like the other day we did 1.5 push-ups. Today we're doing tempo push-ups. So in case you find yourself having to program for yourself, but don't worry, we're here for you. Make sure that you add a lot of variety into your workouts, yeah? Holds, tempo, so many ways to really um, change it up and keep things interesting. All right, reverse crunch to leg extension. Ready? In three, two, and one. Nice work. Bring the knee towards the chest. Breathe out, extend the legs completely, point the toes. Feel your abdomen muscles working, especially with that leg extension. Lower back on the floor. Three, two, and one. Whew, nice one. Skier jumps, let's go. Catch your breath, shake it out, five seconds, three, two, one, and let's go. Nice work. Core tight. Speed it up, come on, it's last round. Push yourselves, jump up higher, swing down with more power. Stay with me, let's go. 10 more seconds. Keep your knees soft, land softly on your feet, and done. Wow, great work. Crab toe touches coming up. Give yourselves some time to recover. You still got about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I'm saying. Sorry, 10 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. To make it a little more challenging, try and kick upward, not inward, just like I did upward. That way you really feel that core burn, that quad burn, and anyway your deltoids are woo, on fire.
Come on. 10 more seconds. Focus up. Keep that balance. Three, two, and one. Okay. Last movement. Bent over YTW. Get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Come on. Last movement and we're done with this workout. Nice work. Let's go, let's go. Finish up. Good squeeze on that upper back, on the shoulders. Core engaged. Almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. And there you have it. Workout one, done and dusted. Quickly grab some water. And we're going to get into workout number two. All right. Upper body day, circuit training day. That means we finish off with HIIT. High intensity interval training, 30 seconds of hard work. 15 seconds of a quick breather and using that as transition time as well. So make sure you're really sticking to those times because that's when you're really going to feel that burn. Okay, so we're going to do three rounds and we have three movements. Um, the first round will go a little slow, but the next two rounds will be back to back. Yeah, so let's get started. The first movement that we have, plank to pike jumps. Going to just set it up for you here. Right. Palms under your shoulders, step out onto your plank position, entire body in one line from here, up into pike, jump forward and down, back into plank. Yeah, this movement requires a lot of control, especially because you're moving from pike where your hips are up and then back to plank where you have to bring your hips back in line with the rest of your body to really, really feel that core burn. Okay, so keep that in mind, especially when you're doing a movement like this. A lot of times, chances are you go from pike and you come back down like that. Yeah, you want to make sure you're keeping your core engaged and controlled on that plank. Okay, if you're scaling this movement down, you're going to go from pike, uh, sorry, plank, step to pike, back to plank. Yeah? All right. Let's get started. 30 seconds in three, two, one, and go. Come on. Feel that shoulder burn, that core burn. Nice work. Come on. Halfway there. Remember, you can't scale it down, but try and push yourself. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, your next movement, overhead sit-ups. So you're going to lie down, knees bent, hands in front of you, or at the back here. From here, you're going to overhead back overhead and back if you're finding this a little tricky i want you to just stick with the crunches yeah ready 30 seconds three two one and go breathe out on top keep your back straight Reach up with each rep overhead. Try and bring the power from your core. Your arms are there just to assist you. And done. All right. And your last movement, keeping it simple but very effective, the jumping tees. 
hands in front of you, jump out, jump in, in line with your shoulders. Okay? If you're scaling down, step and step. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Remember, you can move a little faster. Stay on your toes. Halfway there. Come on, keep pushing. Three, two, one. Rest. Round one done. Two more to go. Hang in there. Sip some water. Plank to pike jumps. Get ready. Three, two, and one. Come on. Keep pushing. And if it gets a little tricky, step and step back. Okay? But maintain that plank position. We spoke about this. Nice work. Come on, keep pushing. Three, two, and one. Rest up. Overhead sit ups. Catch your breath. 10 seconds to go. Ready? Five seconds. Three, two, and go. Try and keep your feet on the ground as, at all times. Nice work. Slowly lower down. Like I said, your core initiates the movement. Your hands are there just for extra momentum. Three, two, one, and done. Last movement, jumping tees. Get ready. Five seconds over up. Ten seconds are up. Get started. Three, two, one, and go. Move quick. Challenge yourselves. Come on. Breathe in, breathe out. 15 seconds to go. Nice work. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest up. Two rounds down, last round. You know the movements by now. I want you to really focus here and give it your best shot, yeah? All right, ready? I think I'm gonna do it this way because it's a little harder on the mat. Three, two, and one, come on. Come on, keep going. You got this. Hips up and then back to plank. Breathe. Feel that shoulder burn. Get ready, 10 more seconds, push. Nice work. Five, three, two, and one. Okay. Nice one. Get ready. Overhead sit-ups. Ready? Three, two, and one. Hands go overhead. Halfway there, come on. Almost there. Three, two, one, and we're done. 
Last movement, jumping tees. Let's go. Get up, get ready, shake it off. Whew. 10 seconds are up. Gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Come on, come on. Keep pushing yourselves. Move a little faster. Keep your core engaged on your toes. Let's go. Pick up that pace. Almost there. Three, two, one. And we are done. And there you have it. Upper body done and dusted. Hats off to you guys. Excellent work. Um, sip some water. Try. Sorry. Try and catch your breath and then we're gonna go in for a really nice relaxing cool down yeah all right sip some water okay when it comes to fitness at least to my fitness i follow um at least a three workout twice a week kind of a deal and uh, I don't take more than three days of rest yeah so in a week I at least try to work um, like go seriously for a workout three times but off late it's been good I've been able to go about five times a week which is which I'm happy with and um, then I avoid resting for more than three days because that makes firstly it makes you feel guilty and uh, secondly it gets harder to get back into routine and then your entire you know your workout program kind of goes for a toss so I try and avoid that so you know it's all right I do five days you could do three days it's completely fine as long as you don't overdo it because at the same time resting your body is really recommended especially for recovery and to enhance your performance yeah so it's completely fine if you do uh, take a break, especially if you know you have an injury or because you're and because you're coming back after a long break, it might be a little you know difficult, but and you may lose your momentum. Um, but it's okay because you have to be a little kinder to yourself, um, reason with yourself in a nice way. Try not to, like I said, the guilt comes in, but uh, try not to make yourself feel too bad about it. Eventually, you know it, I know it we're going to get back into that routine, yeah? So be kind to yourselves always and uh, make sure that you are being regular with your workouts as much as possible, yeah? Coming to the stretches, we're going to start off with lying thread the needle. So for this, you're going to lie down on your stomach and from here, <coughs> I'm going to extend one hand out, bring the other in and hold it here. 30 seconds. Breathe. Nice work. Catch your breath. Feel that stretch in your shoulders and switch. Extend the other hand. Bring this hand down. Rest the shoulder down. Hold it here. Halfway there. Hang on. Relax. Three, two, one, and up. From here, I want you to sit back on your heels, child's pose, and walk your palms to the left, lat stretch, hold it here. Keep trying to push your heels uh, and your hips close together. Feel that stretch on the upper back, on the lats, 
on the shoulders and switch walk your palms to the other side hold Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Slowly release that. From here, I want you to rest your elbows down. Press your palms into the floor. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and hold here. Swing pose. Dig your fig uh, toenails into the ground and try and lift your chest up. Nice one. Halfway there. Three, two, one. Slowly release that. We're gonna sit up. We're gonna do chest and back stretch. So for the chest stretch, interlock your hands behind and pull. Hold it there. Breathe. I'm gonna get up. I'm add a little neck stretch as well. Three, two, one. Back stretch. Interlock your hands in front. Push your back away from your hands. Pull your hands forward, push your back behind. Hold it here. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, release, last stretch, triceps with a side bend. So bring your elbow up, pull towards the center, and from here, bend. Both shoulders at the same level. And switch. Heart rate almost back to normal. Feeling great after such a nice workout and relaxed after the cool down. Ready? to get on to the next task now, yeah? And release that. With that, it's a wrap on this session. Remember, fitness is a continuous journey, so don't stop, okay? For your task for today, I want you to share a picture of you working out outdoors, yeah? I mean, only if the weather permits, okay? If you have done this session indoors, it's completely fine. Try and do the next one outdoors and share a picture of that on our Facebook community. It's called Stronger Together with Cult Fit Live. I love seeing your posts and your pictures, so keep sharing and, uh, you know, make sure you tag me and you can also reach out to me on Instagram, Sivani.Mehera. And I'm Sivani saying goodbye for now. Take care. See you soon. For such workout videos, download the Culfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.